Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ underscore GF, and we are back at it once again with another video. We got the the uh, last man standing match. This is episode two of WWE My Rise, and um, let's get this thing on the road, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's get ten likes on the video. Thank y'all for a thousand subscribers, man. And um. 10 likes, let's get it, man. If you're new here, just hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell so you can stay in tune. I drop another little video, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Shout out to your family, your friends, and your pet lizard. Let's man. Yeah, right. My Rise, episode 2. Last Man Standing Match. One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. Just deadlift it up into a power bomb. And the exclamation point. And Locke got turned around there. A little possum kick. Put a stop to that. <laughs> and out of the ring he goes. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, what a kick. Not done yet. Gonna take a trip. Too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Ooh, A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. The steel chair looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Fisherman suplex. And he's able to reverse. Oh! Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Ah! Uh, I can't reverse those for some reason. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar. I keep missing it. That was a precisely measured attack. He only has got like two moves here. Come here. A bad place to be for the challenger. Yeah, Michael, but in this type of match, it's all about how much you can endure. And what a number we just saw there. Squaring off right by our announce table. He's getting like thrashed out here. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. And the locks maintaining the advantage now. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Momentum going back to Zayn's corner. But Zayn has the push. When to get you up out of there. Giving the people what they want up close and personal. Yeah, but someone 
could seriously get hurt here, Michael. He returns to the ring. He's tearing the crowd's energy. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. And they're returning to ringside action. That's a rare sight. Quick return to the ring. A big punch. Ouch. Zane looking helpless to every attack. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. The lock is focused on finishing. He gonna get he gonna you remember this, don't you? Light work. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental <coughs> Champion Chris. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. He thought he was gonna beat me. He got his rematch. Now he need to move on some on smaller, little, little uh, smaller and littler things. My next move is to go out of Mr. God in God mode himself. Roman. The best to ever do it reigns. Not playing. But here's one of my favorite wrestlers though. Shawn Michaels. Hey, Cam. I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations. But now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time. Defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets. L.A. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not L.A. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in L.A., you can do it anywhere. Even Anaheim. So what do you think? I'm more than ready. I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want to main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. You know what? You know what? I'll give the Austin Theory. I think people theory. have seen me face Sammy and Ridge enough. Time for a fresh matchup. Give me Theory. For your sake, I hope your theory is correct. I'll see myself out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. 
The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks, and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Man, that interview it did me dirty, yo. Also, my fault if y'all want me to talk during the uh, interviews or whatever, or do the cutscenes or whatever. Down, comment down below. Typically, I try not to. That way, you get to hear the cutscene one hundred percent. So, yeah. Okay, man, let's go. A new opponent tonight, about Tom. Incident Sammy or Ridge Holland. I was getting tired of fighting now. Not even gonna lie to y'all. Uh, we're not sold out. Let's go. Mr. Theory's all busted open. Nah, nah, nah. Not right now. We gotta do a lot more, Birdie. Come on, hit him with a stun, a stun. My fault, y'all, I'm eating. Here is your winner, and still, a WWE and a continental champion, Crimson. Let's go! <laughs> I'm 2 and 0 right now. For my title. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Ridge. 
Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? Sean about to give me shit. Hold up. So it didn't go well for them to got another champion. See, there once was an IC chant named Rocky Mavia who had. I'm trying to But were you hyped up at the next big thing? And a lot to be f a future world champion. Now uh, I get the nickname, sort of, and yeah, I was hyped like that. And I added the pressure of being the first ever third generation superstar. And fans were chanting, "Die, Rocky, die!" <laughs> Damn. But overcome that, I don't know. A lot about you, but you had one bad night. You know what? Oh, so I'm let me get out the damn crimp, like r the lock shit. I keep almost saying the rock, and also the lock. Here we go. Mark's gonna be complaining about me not selling out. Whoop -der do <laughs> Let's find out, y'all. Who else is over here? Mufasa. Ali, the Miz, Adam Pierce. Alright, let's talk to Sean. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. 
Okay, then I'm on board. So, who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Okay. Okay. Got my favorite, one of my favorite wrestlers right now. And one of my favorite wrestlers from way back when. We got MVP. The most valuable player. And then we got my boy Randy Orton. Yeah. The legend, legend slayer. Legend killer. Whatever it was. Shit, my boy. Let's go. I ain't mad at this at all. Okay, you are are in high demand as both Randy and MVP would like you to join their factions. Should talk to them both and weigh your options before making the this important decision. Who's in this faction, man? Glad we could finally talk, especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What okay. has he really accomplished? Let's see. Six years in, he got injured. Had to go to the. All right. <laughs> I mean, he's a good wrestler, but I mean, to me, honestly, no. Not much recently, unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coat. Yeah. Yeah. Heavily. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Grow, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I uh -huh. see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet. But with my help, you will be. Okay. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion. Just like I did. Okay. Well, when will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. I'm actually... This is a... Fine, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Let me know. Something. Understood. Okay, because, yeah, because Randy Gordon's a good short tipper. Like a short attention span. Let's see what MVP wants. Intercontinental champion, the lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they were wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. Uh huh. That starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby last. 
I help elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual mm. success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? I still need more time. I totally get it. Think it over. And do what's best for you. Hopefully. I'll let you know. Nah. I'm not liking the Hurt Business thing. Like, I did like the Hurt Business in itself, but I'm not going Hurt Business. I'm going with the Viper. Did you make up your mind about it? I'm joining Evolution. Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow. And don't be late. I'll be there. Let's go! Part of a faction I like. Or I liked. Let's get it, bro. Okay. Who is this Adrian Williams person? Bro, like, where is the... Bro, it wasn't even... Hit a front grapple. How do I do it? Well, on his feet, run towards him and then press circle to a front running grapple.
Let's go. My fault y'all for getting quiet during that match. Like, that was a very tough fight. I had to focus, so I would have lost. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Sorry about that. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? Look, <clears throat> it's not the fact that he wants to do the to share the spotlight with me. He don't have the choice. I'm skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process, which is tough since I know Randy's not always been the most straight up guy, but. I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Sketchy sketch! Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw. And they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. Alright y'all, so apparently Evolution is me, Orton, and Gabriel Slade. I'm not mad at it actually, I like the idea of it being us. Not a bad thing, I dig it. But um... You already know. Got a little things going on, obviously. Well, yeah, so um at the end of the day, thank y'all for tuning in. This is episode two. Sorry, this is a shorter episode. I got things I gotta do at the moment. I mean I gotta get ready for go to work. So um go to like, comment and or subscribe for the 1500 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's get him in. Let's go. We up out of here now, so bro. Let, thank once again, thank y'all for ten. Thank y'all for a thousand subs, man. I wouldn't. I am so grateful to have all y'all that subscribe to me, and uh, hopefully we get the views up too now. You know what I'm saying? Gang, we up out of here.